Hello everyone, my name is Ty. You reached my channel, Divine Creations. Today I'm coming to do a tutorial on how to wash my kinky twist using the Carol's Daughter Transitioning 1, 2, 3. Hello everyone, I'm back. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use the Carol's Daughter Transitioning 1, 2, 3 system to, um, for the kinky twist wash. Um, you need four twist bands. I, I use the goodie bands. You will need a plastic bag. You will need a towel. And the oil that I'm using last is my hair follicle oil by Nazuri. Um, now what I'm, we're getting ready to do is I'm going to put my hair in four sections before the wash because it'll be easier and you don't want to just start washing and tangle up those braids and you don't, I'm trying to keep my braids another couple of weeks. Um, so yeah, so that's why I'm doing the four ponytails. And as you can see, I've had these um, twists about three and a half weeks. Um, and they're still looking good. I was going to take them out at the end of this month, but I think I'm going to keep them to after the 4th of July. Okay, now we're getting ready to wash. The first thing we're using is the transitioning. Um, purifying low poo cleanser that cleanser has coconut derived detanglers soy protein conditioners biotin that help grows the hair and this um, cleanse and detangling unmanageable hair as you hydrate and neutral each strand with the rich conditioning low poo cleanser um, and so far what I like about this cleanser um, it really cleans my scalp with out drying out my hair um yeah it adds extra moisture that's what it says on the back of the um thing without stripping the hair so that's one of the things that i liked about it and i put about a quarter size in each section and one thing about it because I, it don't have any sulfates in it i don't think let's see no, it don't have any salt face, so it did not really suds. It did a little bit, but not a lot. Um, I'm so used to used of um, shampoos that's really sudsy because I'm I'm just transitioning and relax, girls. We we love that. But one thing I can say, I will be using this throughout my transition because, like I said, it it didn't suds, but it did not dry out my hair, and my braids really did. My scalp really did come clean. And right here I'm doing the back as well and like I said excuse the light that's that um, it just shine through my shower in the daytime and like I say really really get that scalp um, I wasn't gonna wash my hair but it had a lot of flakes and I figure let's just try to see how it's gonna turn out <laughs> I was kind of scared to wash my twist because I didn't want them to unravel or anything like that so and right here I'm getting ready to rinse them make sure and the, I didn't use hot water I use really cool cool as I can stand it <laughs> cool water because um, with the twist um, I think if you use hot water it will straighten the curls out on the end and I wasn't trying you know Oh, actually, no, I'm still washing my hair in my edges as well. <laughs> I thought I was still rinsing my hair. Actually, I'm still, it's still being washed. <laughs> And um, tomorrow will make one month transition. I have about a half an inch of new growth, which is really good. Um, and I told you guys that uh, I will be um, cutting my, doing my big chop five to seven months. Um, right here, I'm actually rinsing, rinsing my hair now. 
as well. Make sure you rinse it really, really well to make sure you get all the um, shampoo out off of your scalp. So in October, it will be five months. In December, it will be seven. If I um, do my transition cut big chop in December, it will be my birthday, which is December the 20th. So it will be a little over seven months. So rinse, rinse, rinse. <laughs> Now, you guys, I rinsed it out, put it back in four ponytails, two ponytails. Yeah, two ponytails. <laughs> and make sure you dry those twists. I use a, I'm use i using a regular hair towel. I have some microfiber towels, but I didn't. I forgot to get it. So, um, yeah, so just make sure you dry. And now I'm using the Renewing Scap Spray. This has sugar cane exfoliate. Um, Vera fruit helps heal and it has biotin in it as well and what you do is you spray it on your scalp massage it for about one minute and leave it on for 15 minutes after 15 minutes you rinse it out with cool water and this right here um, this is a, it said it says it's a powerful spray exfoli exfoliates to help heal your damaged hair and follicles it's like a renewing facial for your scalp with naturally rejuvenating Vera fruit and it leaves behind clean cooling sensation, which it does. It says it's easily to distribute pump, makes it simple to reach each follicle evenly, which I agree. I love the little spray bottle. And as you can see, I'm spraying my scalp. And like I said, you just you you massaging your scalp for a minute and leave it on for 15 minutes which i did And I'm banding it back up. Now we're on the other side. And I'm spraying that scalp. And I'm going to massage it in. And as you can see, even though I wash my braids, they still really look good. So, well, my twists. So I'm excited about it. Band it up. All right, right here, I've rinsed it out. So make sure again that you um, dry your twist. Just take the towel and squeeze squeeze the excess water from out of your twist now we get ready to move to the third step unravel it <laughs> and right here we're using the third step is restoring anti-breakage treatment this has olive oil prevents breakage Mora Mora Seed Butter Softens and it has biotin as well. It says it restores and condition your hair, hairs, I'm sorry, restores and condition your hair's damaged demarca demarcation points where the new growth meets the relaxer, which easily splits and breaks. It says the olive oil helps fight breakage while Mora Mora Seed Butter intensively softens your hair which I do agree my twists are really soft and as you can see I put it on my scalp but I also rubbed it on my braids because my hair in the front is kind of long and I want it to really get in my hair and the way I did it, as you can see I kind of rubbed down from I started from the scalp and I rubbed down and I use about a quarter size the product really smells good and it's um it's kind of have a minty like a little smell to it so just do that scalp and you have to leave this on for 15 minutes as well so
So I'm doing the back and I'm going to take my plastic cap and I'm going to put it on. Now, I didn't sit under my huda for anything because I do have braids. If I didn't have any, I'm sorry, twist. If I didn't have any twist, I probably would have sat under the huda for. But you leave it on for 15 minutes and you rinse it out with lukewarm or cool water, which I use cool water. There is the plastic cap. <laughs> and leave it on for 15 minutes. Oh, right here. Now we rinse it out. Again, make sure you take your towel and you dry that excess water out. And as you can see, my braids are still looking good. They are not frizzy or I'm sorry, my twists are frizzy or anything. And one thing I can say about this knot, it really cleaned my scalp. I was not going to wash my hair like I told you guys, but I started getting flakes and I knew it was time. And as you can see, my braid, my twists still look good. I keep saying braid. Sorry, you guys. The scalp is really clean. You don't see any flakes or anything like that. And here is the back where it's tapered down. That's the part that's not um, braided, twist. And now I'm getting ready to use my um, hair follicle food by Missouri. I use that with the crazy pro, crazy pro vitamins and i'm gonna come back next week i'm almost finished with those vitamins and tell you what you think so now i'm just putting it on my scalp and i'm kind of like massaging it through i do this twice once or twice a week mainly twice a week and you just massage it in the scalp massage it in the scalp the last thing I did do, I forgot I used the um, Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Leave-In Spray. I did spray that on my scalp, my braids like. But so far, my hair really feels good. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. But I really want to thank you guys for subscribing. Please rate this video if you like. I want to thank all my old subscribers. Um, I'm going to put my Facebook fan page, my email at the bottom of this video. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at any time. Um, yeah, but I'm getting ready. To, I'm working on my blog as we speak. <laughs> So be patient with that. But I love you guys and I'm I'm re I really I'm I'm enjoying this transition so far. And as you can see my braids really look good. I want to thank you guys and I will talk to you later. Bye.